The GPL editor is a text editor used to edit GPL programs associated with a GPL project. You do not need to be online to edit GPL programs. You can access the GPL editor by double-clicking on a GPL file in the GPL project manager. The GPL editor is like any other text editor that supports common operations like cut, copy, and paste. In addition to the normal text editing functions, the GPL editor understands the GPL programming language. When you enter keywords and instructions it understands, it will display context-sensitive pop-up information that can aid in writing your programs. You can also use the mouse to hover over symbols in your program to get a pop-up display with information about that symbol. When you create new functions or subroutines, you can enter three single quotes above the method definition and it will auto-generate a documentation header for the method. You can then fill in all the information like a summary for the method, a description for the method arguments, and information about a return value. If you then reference this program elsewhere, this information will be displayed as part of the context-sensitive information in the editor. The GPL editor has a context menu exposing many useful functions like formatting a text range or the entire text document. When formatting is applied, it will space out and indent the program lines for readability and consistency. You can also use the context menu to comment and uncomment out text lines and text ranges. If your programs are long, you can collapse the program regions to hide some of the details of a program or module. You can do this by clicking on the plus minus icon next to each program or module. The context menu will allow you to expand or collapse all regions in one operation. Another very useful function is the ability to detect references to symbols in your program. For example, if you have a variable in your program, you can right-click on the symbol and select Go to Reference. It will automatically navigate to where the symbol is defined. You can also select Find All References to display every reference to that symbol in the Find Results window. Lastly, you can rename a symbol reference by selecting the Rename Reference option. You can use the Find Results window to navigate to the lines where each reference occurs.